Hello everybody, Jedi Warlock here, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we are returning to the world of Azeroth to take a look at a one-of-a-kind treasure collection in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Atop the Utgard Pinnacle, King Imeron sits on his throne, lording over all the Vrykul clans in service to the Lich King. During his rule, he has amassed quite the fortune, which can be found nearby in the King's Hoard, a massive vault containing countless gold, gems, and historical artifacts. I'm going to be taking a look at these treasures and breaking down where they could have been taken from across Northrend and beyond. As always, thank you for your comments and your support of the channel, and let's get right into it. Let's start small. You might notice, embedded in the piles of gold are some glowing blue crystals. These are the very same that can be found in Ungoro Crater or at the Skyreach Pillar in Sholazar Basin, both Titan-influenced zones that share these gems. The Dragon Flayer of Rykul are seasoned flyers, and it's not hard to believe they may have stopped by the basin to pillage some of these nightlights. In these piles, there are also some vases and pots that appear to be elven or troll in nature. The former, possibly from Crystal Song Forest, and the latter, probably from somewhere within Zul'drak. Gems, paintings, and other minutia litter the ground as well, including these jade statues. Not sure where these came from, but I could imagine these belonging to the trolls as well. Some of the small green containers remind me a lot of the Naga camps from the Burning Crusade, so maybe they were taken from the Riplash ruins in Borean Tundra. Another small detail is that the chests in this room are copper-colored instead of the regular silver. The most unique small object has to be this metal arm, which I'm thinking is a Terminator reference, but it could also foreshadow everybody's favorite allied race, the Mechanome. Let's move on to the larger treasures. This crumbling elven statue is reminiscent of the Ravencrest Monument on the coast of Ajara, but it is much smaller, relatively speaking. My bet would be any of the elven ruins along the southern coast of Northrend could have once been the home for this statue from the Riplash Strand to the Moonrest Gardens in Dragonblight. There's also a large gear nearby, which could belong to any Titan mechanism on the continent, or perhaps it is a more recent find from an Explorer's League outpost. This golden High Elven Archer is pretty neat, and I couldn't think of any other instances of this object in the game. If I had to guess, I would say Quel'Thalas, since it looks pretty similar to Sylvanas. So if any of you have seen another copy of this statue, let me know in the comments below. Next up is this stone centaur, which is pretty out of place on a continent without any centaur. It looks similar to those found in the Maradon dungeon on Kalimdor, but how it ended up here is anyone's guess. The sea witch idol is obviously from a Naga establishment the closest to being the Riplash Ruins, before it was taken over by the Cavaldier. On the other side of the room, we have some more interesting finds. This knight resembles statues found in Plagued Lordaeron, but this particular one was probably liberated from one of the Scarlet Onslaught bases in Northrend. The same goes for this Admiral statue, which seems to be a copy of the Barian Westwind Memorial found in the Scarlet Monastery. Last but not least, we have the Troll Corner, which includes one of the massive stone heads, along with a gong and other related artifacts. Once again, these items were probably pillaged from the fallen Drakari Empire, or could be from the forest trolls of Old Kalimdor from before the Sundering. Overall, I think the King's Horde offers some great easter eggs and references to players climbing to the top of Utgard Pinnacle, and I think it's pretty cool the designers took the time to showcase 
how the Vrykel have collected these treasures throughout the centuries. A giant hoard for a giant king. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below with your thoughts, and subscribe if you're new to join the Jedi Order. Until next time, may the Force be with you.